Okay, we're going to do Mega Man 3 for the Game Boy. Ah, uh, this one's a pain. The stages seem to be longer than, um, than some of the other ones. Well, they feel longer to me. So, we'll try to do the first four. Of course, you have Snake Man, Spark Man, Shadow Man, and Gemini Man. Those are the four that weren't on uh, Mega Man 2. The other four were on there. Magnet Man, Hard Man, Top Man, and um, Needle Man. And as we do on the Nintendo, we're going to take Snake Man first. Not sure if that's like the wisest decision, but we'll see. And there will be safe states used on this because these stages to me feel like they are just really, really long. They may not be that long, but they feel like it, so... Oh yeah, I forgot I can use the Mega Buster on this one. That may make things a little bit easier. These snakes, these big snakes are just like they are on the third one. The platforms are a tad different, like where you're jumping where the snake's body's moving. That's a little bit different, but uh, most of the rest of it's about the same. Okay. A little bit needy to hit right there, but that's okay. I'm going to make a save right here because there's a jump on the Nintendo that's like that, and I miss it most of the time. Most of the time. So this is going to be part one. This is either going to be a two or three part video. I'm not real sure how we're going to do that. We'll see what we can get done in a couple of parts. Ah, I shouldn't have jumped up and took a shot like that. Right to the face is where I took this shot. To the face. Oh, I hate these things on here. They're so much different than the Nintendo version. Because they, they don't just jump over and then run. They jump, they do a squiggly thing, and then they run. Yeah, you better run. You know what's good for you. Ow. Okay, and you can shoot them. You learn something about it all crap okay well you learn new tactics and stuff half of the time and there's Eddie or flip top whatever you want to call him That's a real bad spot to be in. Here's one of those big drop off jumps. Okay. Some of this is working a little bit better. That's one of those deals where there's too much crap going on on the screen and the game doesn't know what to do. I'm trying not to get hit right there, but it's not really working. There it went. There we go. We don't have anything as you can see right off the bat. All we have is just the... Yeah, you better. You better run! I'll give you something to run from, little boy. You know, I don't much mind this enemy here. Well, most of the time, I don't much mind that enemy there. As long as he's not in my way. Oh, I'm going to get that E-Tank, by the way, guys. I'm going to get that E-Tank. I don't know how, but I'm going to get that E-Tank. Ow! Well, that certainly wasn't the way to gather that E-Tank. Not real sure why it's doing that. 
But okay. Do I have to drop from up here and drop down that way and across? No. Maybe there's not a way to get that. I don't really remember. There we go. Well, still might not come grab it. Crap! I'll try it one more time. If I can't get it, then I'll, I'll not worry about it right now. Okay, I'm not going to worry about it. If I have to, I'll come back. Well, that just sucked. Well, okay. I'll take that where I can get it. See, this is getting a tad bit dangerous. Crap showing up. Yeah. Run and gun, run and gun. All right, two snake man here. Okay, we're gonna save on in. Um, he technically kind of does what he does on the game, on the NES. The bad thing is you can shoot the snakes, which is not good. I hate it when he gets you over in the corner and he just starts jumping and you really just can't do much about it. You almost have to make sure every weapon hit that you fire lands, or at least that the majority of them do, because um, he is very, very hard to shoot on certain areas there. Trying to make sure you guys can actually see that. You're gonna get search snake and rush coil. And of course you go after Gemini Man next. With the search snakes. Now what's really gonna blow your mind is who you're gonna go after after you beat Gemini Man. And this stage seems to be a lot harder than the NES one. Not real sure why this is not really a difficult shouldn't really be a difficult stage at all and it it is fairly difficult the enemies come in a different uh, pattern and things like that and there's different enemies like you used to those little things that drop down they're not there There we go. I about walked right into that. Okay, somehow right there, I didn't get hit. And then I got hit. <laughs> These guys right here, you just gotta shoot them in the top of the head. Oh, gosh. I'll get under him, or I'll kill him one of the two. Yeah, we'll just go on and skip that part. Oscar, where are you going? Oscar? Oscar. I do not want to get knocked off of these platforms. That worked out pretty good. 
probably means I'm getting ready to get just jacked up though really bad. It's usually what happens. They look a little bit different on this version than they did on the NES version, so it's it's a little bit weird. They still only take one hit, so you're just basically going and blasting and moving forward with all that. I probably have to go back and probably have to go up to the upper level. Yeah, because there's an E-tank up there that I want. So we're going to come back over here. We're going to use the rush coil. We're going to use the rush coil. Now what you have to do is you have to trick the game sometimes. And you might have to take a hit, but that's okay. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me, people? No, oh my. You have to get Rush exactly where you want him, because if you don't get him exactly where you want him, he's not going to put you exactly... Mega Man, quit sliding to the opposite direction! When I tell you to slide to the right, that means slide to the right. That doesn't mean slide halfway to the left. I'm gonna run out of rush coil power. Oh my gosh, are you freaking for real? Just saved while I had the chance. Okay, I'm going to save before I go up there and get that. That way we know what we've got and what we're working on. Instead of getting over here and screwing it up. Okay, save. Okay. Hey, now that time you put me straight on up there. Now that's not, now that's not fair. Now that right there is not fair. How in the world I'm supposed to do that without getting hit or anything is beyond me. There we go. All right, Mega Man. Now do we know which side we're sliding on this time? Okay, we look like we know which side we're sliding. There we go. I think you can only hold it. You might can only hold four E-Tanks. You'll not need... I don't think you'll need all four E-Tanks. I don't remember. I just don't like how these things are a lot bigger than they were on the original version of the game. That kind of drives me insane because it's like they can actually get a... They get more of a radius to hit you with. And I don't think that's right. I don't think that should be uh, counted. See how the game cannot keep up with all the sprites on the screen. Not too bad of a thing that it runs in slow mo, but really it's it's not a good thing either. I'm surprised that second shot landed on that other one while he was jumping. I figured I would not connect. Alright. I'm 
Now instead of hitting the penguin in the eyes this time, you have to hit him in the in the corkscrew thing turn on his head. Good gosh, I'm getting beat up. Oh, and if you think you're gonna get a break, no. No, you don't get a break. Now, how in the world am I not supposed to get hit? Ooh, there's some health. Let me suicide mission and get it. Oh gosh, really? Instead of jumping, you decide to slide? Are you kidding? You didn't slide five minutes ago when I needed you to. At least not the right way. That time you slide, but you slid the right you slid the right way, but you slid and I didn't want you to. Oh gosh. I, yeah, we can't give you any life. Oh, we're sorry. That's not a possibility. You'll just have to die. They'll give me life right there. No, I figured they... Yeah, I figured they would either give me life right there and put it in the spikes. Or do it here. Yeah, there, there, there it is. There it is. There's about what I expect. Gosh, I better say, I don't know where something's coming up. Oh my gosh. See how I told y'all these stages feel a little bit longer? They really do. I'm gonna let him kill me the first time because or no, I can't kill him with a, without a full bar. I know there one day I worked him over pretty bad. The last time I played it. I worked him over. See, I can get like halfway, but it's easier to kill him when he doesn't have that. And when you have the search snake instead. Now the search snake just kind of works like it did on the other game against him. You just pummel his butt with it and And he about killed me. That last Gemini laser was coming. Some will say it got me. Some will say it didn't. Shame on you if you said it got me. Shame on you! <laughs> okay. We're gonna go after Shadow Man. You said, how in the world are we going to kill Shadow Man without the, without the, uh, without the top spin? Well, believe it or not, on this game, he is weak to the Gemini laser. Oddballs, that is. Uh-oh. Crap. Well, that didn't work real good. Now, did it? Uh, you got to be real careful in this stage. There's a lot that can go wrong. And I do mean a lot. Enemies are not where you would normally see them. Even if they were on the normal stage or where you would think they would be. And some of the stage looks the exact same from portion to portion, which drives me insane. No, I don't need the power to go out. I don't. I can't see to begin with, so that's that's a bad thing anyway. 
But you know what? I don't really like this stage the first time I play it on the NES version. I already don't like this stage to begin with. It is not a favorite of mine. And on here, it ain't much better. Ooh, Ooh an area with no enemies? Huh. Well, that means I'm getting ready to get my butt kicked. Bring it on! Okay. Now here's the part with the little parachute guys. After a while, I think you can actually get away with this. Or just take them out with a charge shot. Yeah, just take them out with a charge shot. That works better. Okay, well, that didn't connect, but uh, he didn't connect either. I hate these dragonfly things like every five minutes. That really drives me nuts. Great, I can't see. Here's a loop-de-loop -loop thing. I was like, what are y'all going to try to catch me with? <laughs> Maybe I don't want it. Oh, dear. Oh, okay. He can't come over here. Okay, well. Leaves him with a small platform to work with. All right. So, we're going to get our Gemini laser out here or laser with this laser um he's not as bad as he is on the nes but you do want to be close so that that gemini laser does not hit the wall and bounce all over the place you don't want to have that happen you get that start happening you start having a lot of fun well, he starts having a lot of fun. You start having a pain in the butt on your hands. Shutter blade. Don't worry, you won't get the rush jet for a little while longer. You don't get that until you kill the dust man. Then the last one is Spark Man. We're doing pretty good on time. We might be able to beat the first Wily stage and get the other four up there. Okay. This stage is about as ridiculous as it is on the NES. Actually, if you really want to get real technical, the difficulty is about the same. You can try as much as you would like to not get hit right here, but sometimes um, it's just stupid and it just doesn't work so if you can get through there good if you can't um, you know you're going to shoot him a few times then you're going to get on the ladder and go back down and then you're going to turn around and shoot him some more you say I will kill you okay Here's those block machines that are on it. Shoot! They're not really... Well, they're kind of as aggravating as they were then, but they're not technically as aggravating. I think there's only one enemy that comes out of those at, a, at any given point in time. So that might... That's probably a good thing. Well, let's hammer Joe. Hammer time! Hammer time with Hammer Joe. That's what his... He should come up with his own television show and just call it Hammer Time with Hammer Joe. 
See, now there's another E-Tank, and we're going to get it. We are going to jump up here and get this, okay? Now, this part can be a little bit rough. Because you jump like you're on the moon. Uh, or you jump in slow motion. And everybody knows how fun it is to jump in slow motion. Stand kind of further away from him so that when you hit him, it lands and you don't get demolished by the shot. Oh my gosh! Okay, I'm going to have to save after every shot, it looks like. Yep. Ah, gosh. <clears throat> oh, forgot about that. Goodness gracious. Oh, whoa! Ho! 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 Skip it to my new! Ah! Fudge! Well, I'm trying to get down through there without getting hit. Not too much anyway, or maybe not at all, if I could. Oh, okay, apparently you can't slide there, so that's out of the question. There we go. There we go. That's what we wanted. You gotta be careful right here because if you slide too far, he ends up in the spike. You may have to knock out the block and then slide through these through these parts because especially that one there, because those do come down a little bit faster. me a charge of shot whenever I was just trying to kill him anyway. Now you gotta watch out right here. The first time I came through here I didn't notice those spikes on the ceiling. I ran my head straight into them. It was not one of my finer moments, mind you. I totally missed them is what happened. I was not looking on the ceiling, and I should have been paying attention to the ceiling. Alright. Shadow Blade. Just like you do on number three. He'll do just like he does on number three. And like off of number three, you can shoot that in eight different directions. So we're going to try to go through Wiley stage one. This might be a two-part playthrough, maybe. Let's we'll see what we can get done here. Spark shock. Use regular gun, use Mega Buster, use regular gun. Crap. That's going to suck. Alright, 
Now we're going to go through one stage of Dr. Wily then it's supposed to give us the other four robot leaders off of Mega Man 4. Come on, boo. Come on. Hop on up here. Come on. Boo. Maybe later. I don't know. And we start off with reappearing and disappearing blocks. Oh, and these things are a pain. They're not a pain on the original game, but they're a pain here because you have to skip off of them with just a light tap, light quick tap of the button. This thing right here is a massive pain in the butt. Oh my gosh, I hate this freaking thing. They're like, yeah, use your gun. I'm like, is there anything else that works against this massive eyeball that goes around the room? Ayo! Well, that time he did something entirely different than what he done the first time. They're like, oh yeah, he's so easy to avoid. I'm like, uh, no, he's not. Oh my gosh. This thing is freaking ridiculous. If you can get past this thing without getting hit or anything like that, kudos to you. You've done one heck of a job. This thing is just a humongous pain in the rear end. Oh my gosh! Gosh, I hate that thing. Gosh. Okay. Oh, don't worry. There's another one on after this. Um, we might go ahead and try to take down a couple of these. Uh, we're going to fight Dustman first. These are just as bad as the other ones. See how long it takes to get through this. We may, may have just should have quit there. <laughs> well, you see how way how right that went. I should have got hit right there. I think. I think. I'm not gonna complain though if I didn't get hit because if I didn't, oh good gosh, oh, they'll hit me somewhere. I'm sure of it. They'll get me somewhere. Don't worry about that. <laughs> so, okay. I think he's got the rush jet adapter, I do believe. By the way, I went through this game one time. I don't think it helps. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Crap.
If you go there, you can go with maybe not getting hit. Crap. Kind of wait until he comes over there if you really want, and then just try to jump around him and go on. And right here, it's almost, it's almost impossible to get underneath them when they're jumping like that. Okay, he's a spinner. Okay. The spinner ones aren't too bad. You can usually put them down pretty easily. <clears throat> this is one of those ones where you have to kind of get them to come over a little bit and take care of them there. And then while you're jumping, you have to try to take care of this one too. And that, that can be a little bit difficult. And took right hit to the face. Okay. Well, good enough. I didn't need that anyway. So, good enough. Okay, now this is a little bit different than it was on the NES version. There are certain parts that can kill you that couldn't kill you before. They're exactly just like that right there. So... Needless to say, this is a pain in the butt because those other ones can actually come down in the middle and kill you. So what you want to do is you want to clear out all these in the middle. See, it's, it's kind of a trial and error thing. You kind of have to figure out where the ones are that can absolutely just destroy you. And then you have to make sure that you can get past those. It's almost the exact opposite of what it was on the Nintendo. Oh my gosh, I hate that part so bad. Oh gosh! How ridiculous. That's freaking ridiculous. That's just crazy. Why would you program this this way? Now, now, right here. Now, you can shoot out all these blocks that you want. But here's the problem. That thing's going to come down and crush you on the head when you get next to it. When you get underneath it, this thing's going to come down and crush you right on the noggin. Now, do you have time? Yes, you do. But not much. Well, I'm trying to jump off of this ladder, but they're not letting me go where I want to go, so. Crap, I saved and I didn't mean to. Crap! See, that's the problem with saving and loading. You load the wrong thing. Man, now he shouldn't have took that many daggone shots. I hate those things. Do I want the one up? Do I have the thing that I can get the one up with? Maybe. Nope. That won't reach. Nope. So we're not going to worry about that. It's either another weapon or it's, um, or I would have had to use the rush jet. And I'm not real interested in doing that right off the bat. That enemy right there, the thing that shoots the shots out and the balls 
out of it. That thing takes more hits on this game than it does on the regular Nintendo version. That thing takes way too many hits. See, now this looks like something I just did. Now, city people, now here's where the game is screwed up really bad, royally. Um, you can't make this jump without the rush jet. There's no way to make it with the rush coil. You can't do it. It's not possible. Or at least I don't think it's possible. I'll try to make it with the rush coil, but I don't think it's possible. I think you have to get stun hit by the by the enemy and do it that way. Because I don't think it's possible to get the rush coil down there and jump across. It might be. It is. Okay. But now, I can't reach the ladder. So I have to rush coil it into the spikes. Okay. Well, Alright. I won't complain. I'll take it where I can get it. And you got to kick back out. Now to get out of here, you have to use the rush coil again. So, at least we have some life now. Not for long. <laughs> like I said, not for long. See what's down here. Probably nothing good. That's what I figured. That's what I figured. That's exactly what I figured. Oh my gosh, I forgot about that crap. Hey, <laughs> no life. <laughs> I have no life to fight Dustman with. <laughs> None. <laughs> That's fantastic. I love it. Um, I think he used the spark shock. It, it's going to be a bad fight no matter what because he's not a real... You see, you can't hit him with it while he's doing the vacuum cleaner thing. And he doesn't take a lot of damage from it either. I hate his weapon so bad. It's almost unavoidable, and that's not fair. That's not fair at all. I'm probably going to get killed right here. Quit trying to jump on me. Quit. See, I might even run out of Shadow Blades. Or not Shadow Blades, but Spark Shock anyway. I hate that weapon because when it hits the when it when it's flying, it blows up. But Lord knows where it's gonna blow up at. It's supposed to blow up like right where you're at, but you know. Rap. I 
Yeah, because I'm going to get hit right here. Crap! Oh, he got a two for one deal! Oh my gosh! Oh goodness gracious, you done got me up in a corner. You don't need to use more than one friggin' shot! Quit it! Oh gosh. Oh gosh, I'm in a bad spot there. Oh, that's dirty. That was dirty. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. Okay, that's about all I'm gonna take for the evening. We'll we'll go and we'll fight the other three in the Wiley stages next time. That's about all I want for this playthrough. So in the next part, we'll go after Skull Man, Dive Man, Drill Man, and then two stages of Wily. So Dive Man will be next. Or not Dive Man, I'm sorry. Skull Man will be next. So until the next part, We'll see you later.